historic night out in Somerton. Welcome into sports, everyone. A new school means a new athletics program. And for the Somerton Toros, the Desert Southwest's newest team tonight, the first chance to make their presence felt. And they got to do it against a Yuma Blue Blood. Let's head out to Somerton. Toros JV team welcoming in the JV team of the Yuma Criminals home opener for the Toros as their team gets to play under their own lights for the first time. And how about the Toro crowd showing out tonight? Not an empty seat in the house. Many even standing around the field as well. We begin here in the second quarter. Score at 14-7. Crims going for it on fourth and 15 from their own 38-yard line. A pass fired out to the sideline. Nobody there, though. And Nakvalteria nearby for the Toros as they walk off the field. So with that, the Toros will take over on downs now in Yuma territory. First play of the drive for Summerton. Quarterback Andres Soto taking the snap at that one ending right back with the Crims interception for Soto there. So Yuma takes over on their own 29 yard line. Still likely going to be some growing pains as the Toros get things going. This would end up with the Crims beating the Toros. Your final score in this one 14 to 7. Jumping up to the varsity level now, Thursday night lights out in the Valley. Peter Blanco Jr.'s 2-1 Eagles welcoming in the Vincent Memorial Scots out to Eagle Field. First quarter, Jacobo Elias and the Scots passing game offense got right to work. Elias connecting with Roberto Carranza for a very big gain there. A few plays later, Elias lofting one out to the end zone, but this one broken up by Joshua Urtuya. Ref said he was out, so incomplete, but the Eagles defense... They're holding strong here. Next possession, Elias back out to pass. Southwest thinks they have him, but Elias spins out of it. And eventually he's going to fire downfield, caught by Oscar Garza, who takes it in for the touchdown. Magic from Elias to give the Scots a 6-0 lead. Next possession for the Scots, Elias is going to take the snap eventually. Watch him here. Watch him take the snap. And then eventually he's going to throw it out to Kenneth Urquidez, but that one incomplete. Second quarter, same drive. Elias forced to scramble again, but this time he's going to find Garcia, or excuse me, Garza in the end zone for the touchdown. Make it 13-0. This one is all Scots early on. So the Eagles offense, well, they got to get something going here. Quarterback Matt Mills, he's going to take the snap, and he's going to fire it out to the former quarterback. Logan Younger's on the screen. Younger's cutting it to the middle of the field, and could he go all the way? Yes, he can. Big touchdown for the Eagles, just what they needed. From here on out, a total shootout with Vincent Memorial walking away with the 40-34 victory after this heavyweight bout. To volleyball action now out in San Pasqual. Warriors welcoming in the 3-0 Antelope Lady Rams in the volleyball edition of the Telegraph Pass Cup. Antelope coming off the win over Yuma yesterday. Starting in the first set, Zephora Kelly with the dig and then an Antelope foul near the net. Jazelle Perez, the one to put it over either way. 23-16, Rams still up, but a Set later, set point for Antelope, Marissa Jimenez on the serve. This time, though, it would be a foul on the Warrior side. So with that, Lady Rams take set one, 25-16, the score in that one. Early in the second set, Leilene Arona dishing for Perez, and Perez with some perfect placement as that one goes off the Rams. Warriors take the first point of the set. Next point, this time Antelope's Kylie Richmond sets up for Jimenez, who fires a heat-seeking missile to the back corner. Beautiful kill for Jimenez. Now tied to one apiece in the second. Eventually, Lady Rams would go on to take the match in four sets. The perfect start to Antelope's season continues. They get to 4-0 now. Warriors, meanwhile, they drop to 0-2 to begin their season. That's all the time we have for sports.